Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking glowing energy sphere effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to create a new composition. I'm just going to run with a 1920 by 1080 pixel document, 30 FPS, at a duration of about 15 seconds. Just press OK. Once you have that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a solid. So I'm just going to label this solid uh, trap code form or shape, whatever you like. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for the effect called trap code form. Now just a reminder that trap code form is a paid plugin from Red Giant. So please make sure that you download it prior to watching this video. Otherwise you won't be able to complete the tutorial. So now once we have that out of the way, what we need to do is we need to come and edit trap code form. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're just going to open up the base form. And what we're going to do is we're just going to change some of the particles in X, Y and Z. So the first one we will change X to let's say about 500. All right. And then we're going to change the particles in Y to maybe around 200 or so. And then we're just going to change the particles in Z to one. And so that's basically given us this square. So again, not much is happening and it's definitely not animating because we haven't done any of that stuff yet, but we'll get there. So the first thing that we have to do here to actually uh, get it to look like a glowing energy sphere is we need to come down to our spherical field and we need to basically turn it into a sphere. So what I'm going to do here in sphere one is I'm just going to turn up the strength and I'm going to um, put it to 100. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to also increase the radius as well. So I'm going to bring that up to maybe somewhere around 450 or so, maybe even 500. Depends on how much of this uh, you want. Maybe we'll bring it down to about 450. And then once we have that, then now we need to make it animate. So to do that, all we have to do is we're just going to close up the spherical field and we're just going to open up the fractal field. And so all we have to do is just play around with some of these display settings. And so you can see as I increase that, the kind of effect that we will actually get. So I've just set it at like 250. And you know what, if we just leave it like that, now you have this cool, kind of ball effect. So I want some of these things to actually come outside of this sphere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump that up even more. I'm going to keep on going to maybe let's say somewhere around 500 or so. And so now you have these kind of uh, things that are overlapping and I think that's looking pretty cool. So now I do think it's just a bit too big for this um, composition. So what I can do is I can just hit S on my keyboard for scale and just scale it down a little bit just so it fits a little bit nicer. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to have a play around with our colors. So I'm just going to go down and look for the particle. All right, and once I've got that, then I can play around with some of these settings as well. So the main one that we're going to have a look at is this one over here, color. So I'm just going to be using color hunt and I'm going to be using this color scheme over here. So it's a darkish kind of black navy for our base color. So we'll use that for our background. And these are the two colors that I'm going to use inside of uh, this glowing sphere. So I'm just going to copy it and then I'm just going to paste it back in here. And so now I've got this nice kind of blue effect there and that's looking pretty good. So the other thing that we need to do in here is we need to change the blend mode to screen. And once we start duplicating things, you'll understand why we're doing that. So speaking of duplicating things, what we need to do is we need to duplicate this shape. So I'm going to press command D to duplicate or control D if you're on a Windows PC. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate it. So I'm going to press R for rotation and then I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. So now I have two sets of balls full of energy coming out from different sides. And I think that looks pretty cool as well. There are some other cool options uh, in here and especially in the kaleidoscope space where you can start to mirror these edges as well and they give some really cool looks. But 
I've kind of mirrored it anyway, so I'm not going to bother with that, but feel free to experiment. So now the other thing that we need to do is just need to change the color. So I'm back to color hunt. I'm just going to grab my color and I'm just going to paste it inside of After Effects. So now I've got two separate colors going off and I think that looks uh, pretty good as well. And that's basically the effect done. So now all we have to do is just kind of dress it up and complete uh, the background and add some noise and that's pretty much it. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to pre-compose these layers. So I'm going to highlight both layers. I'm just going to go to layer pre-compose and then I'm just going to make sure that I move all attributes into the new composition. So now we can call that our final shape or whatever you want. I just called it pre-comp one. And then what we're going to do is we are going to add a rotation animation. So I'm going to press R on my keyboard for rotation. I'm going to hit that stopwatch, move to the end of the timeline, and then I'm going to spin it one revolution. And so now if you play that back, so now the ball is actually spinning around as well. So that kind of gives it that unique kind of look as well. So now once we've got that out of the way, the next thing that we need to do is we need to worry about the background. So I'm just going to come and create a new solid and I'm going to call this uh, BG. I'm going to drag it underneath the pre-comp that we just made and I'm going to search for our ever trusty gradient ramp. So now the colors that I'm going to use are basically from Color Hunt and all I want is this dark color. So I'm just going to click that and then I'm just going to paste it back into After Effects. And so now I've got this cool kind of, it's like a dark purplish kind of color, but it suits the rest of those colors. So that looks pretty cool. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swap those colors and then I'm going to change it to a radial ramp. And so I'm just going to move it out a bit just so I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm just going to move this and move this one over here just so I can get, you know, like it's just a little kind of touch of that top color over there so it still keeps it fairly dark so now one of the first effects that we are going to add is we we are going to add on our pre-comp we're just going to add some curves and so if i look up our effect curves and then if all i have to do is just click this point over here and then click this point and bring it over here now i've created an s bend and so the more that you have on this side you can see what's actually happening to the colors and i think that looks you know really really cool and you have that kind of you know where the colors stand out a little bit more so but you don't want to go too crazy as well so you just want to have a slight s bend over here and this will kind of bring out your colors and make your colors pop as well so now once we have that you know what we can do is we can add a new adjustment layer and in the adjustment layer, I'm going to search for the effect called noise. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring up noise to about 8% just so it has a, you know, uh, like a noisy kind of background and it just kind of ties everything else together. The other thing that we're going to do is we're just going to add some glow to our um, energy ball. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for the effect called glow and then I'm going to change a few of the settings. So this time I'm going to bring up the threshold to 100. I'm going to also bring up the glow radius to about 30 and I'm just going to bring down the glow intensity to about 0.5 and then I'm going to duplicate that again. So now for the next one I'm just going to bring the glow radius to maybe 50 and I'm just going to bring down the glow intensity to 0.2. And so now if you've done that correctly, now you will have this cool glow that is added to your energy sphere. And yeah, and once you've completed that, that's about it for this tutorial. So that was a quick tutorial on how to create a glowing energy sphere using trap code and After Effects. So anyways, guys, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.